Hey, this is Kirby at Electric Fossil Studio in Milford, Delaware. And today I want to give you an unlikely scenario. So you're in a, uh, your bedroom, you're playing guitar and you've got an amplifier and you go and I get electric guitar and you go, I want to play some rock, hard rock riffs and metal riffs, but I need this other piece of equipment. I need these certain type of guitars. I need these certain types of ampl amplifiers in order to get it done. I'm here to tell you, yeah, sure. It's fun. That helps. You can get there. There's nobody would ever question getting a, uh, you know, dual rectifier and a, you know, killer ESP flying V or ESP Explorer. And that wouldn't sound amazing. It wouldn't sound great, but let's just say you're a mere mortal at this point And, uh, you don't have that. Well, I'm going to show you this is an unlikely setup. I just kind of threw the most random, uh, pieces I had together and let's challenge myself today to see if I can get a hard rock metal sound. So I have a Fender Deluxe Reverb, the uh, custom 68, um, the new one, it's not a vintage one or anything. Um, and then a Epiphone dot 335. And this has a uh, Seymour Duncan JB in the bridge. That's all I'm going to be playing. I got CTS pots and orange drop capacitors. If you don't know what that stuff is, we can talk about that another time. Um, and it's set up by Frantic Frets. Al Frantic, he did a killer job. This thing sounds cool. Plays amazing. So here's the clean sound. I don't have any reverb on the amp just to make it clean. So that sound right there. I guarantee you, everybody out there listening who's in this situation, you have a guitar, maybe a humbucking guitar, maybe a single coil guitar, whatever it may be, and an amplifier, you could probably get this sound. You probably have the capability to do that. Everybody's kind of got that. So that's your starting point. So you can't really rock out too hard on that. Like you can do some good, nice, clean, picky. It's real pretty, nice, beautiful, wonderful. Throw on a pedal. Just like that, you're rocking out. You're ready to go. Ready to record, ready to play a show, no problem at all. So what I'm using, and by the way, far as before I get into the pedal, that's a deluxe reverb at the uh, second channel, input one, volumes at one or two, and the uh, treble and bass turned all the way to 10. I'm using a Proco Rat, which is a very inexpensive pedal, not a boutique pedal or anything. So the Proco Rat, the current one, not a vintage version, a current model. And I've got the um, distortion at about 11 o'clock, the filter at about noon, and the, uh, the, volume, the level at about 2 o'clock. There you go. If you're in a situation where you don't have all of the gear you want, 
you can get it done. My recommendation is to get a, um, I like fenders for that, for this kind of exercise. I like it. Um, they don't have a, an immediate color already. You can throw a pedal on and it could be a tube screamer. It could be a rat, it could be a big muff or whatever. And it'll make it sound awesome. Um, that's what they mean by it takes pedals very well is that it makes your pedals do what it's supposed to do. Um, and you're not fighting frequencies like you are with other amps and other amps are great by themselves, but that's what Fender is really good for. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully that, uh, what's your appetite for a Proco rad or maybe an Epiphone dot or Jolux reverb or something like that, or maybe even what's your appetite of coming in the studio, recording some of your songs, man. Come on, let's go book some time. All right. If you'd like to book some time, feel free to reach out to Instagram, Facebook, or you can email me, electricfossil at yahoo.com. I'm Kirby. This is Electric Fossil Studio. See you soon.